I'm Constable Scott Mills. I'm a Toronto Police Service Officer. I work in corporate communications. My job is social media officer. I'm very passionate about BMX and the positive aspects of BMX that can help kids become successful. And uh, what we try and do is uh, provide youth in the uh, various neighborhoods an opportunity using these ramps that you see in the background. And uh, we try and get them to do it as safely well as, as well improve as the trust uh, between uh, youth in the neighborhood, community members in the neighborhood, police officers, and uh, make our community a safer place. You're it's all about me is a pyramid uh, for BMX. It was built about uh, seven or eight years ago. It's very, very hard to build. It took about it took Mike Mike Heaton, the founder of Toronto BMX in Toronto, approximately 40 hours of work to build this pyramid. Right now, uh, it's in the process of being resheeted. Uh, because uh, the uh, top pieces of plywood uh, wore out. And we've got some youth from uh, 75 Tandridge here that were part of the BMX program in years past, actually in the process of resheeting it today. So it's real exciting. Uh, you'll see some graffiti artwork uh, on some of the ramps. And uh, kids paint that graffiti artwork at a number of events. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, what events and the, the artwork. What you're right here is graffiti letters. It says TBC. It means Tribal Bridges Crew. And uh, prior to graffiti artists named Kedre Brown and Jesse Pacho meeting me as police officer via a YouTube video, like you're watching right now, in about 2007, uh, Kedre and Jesse were tagging TBC, meaning Tribal uh, tribal bridges crew illegally under bridges all over the city of Mississauga and, el and elsewhere. What they did is they became community builders. Now they paint BMX bike ramps and they've even taken it a step further. They're doing uh, murals that raise awareness to end homelessness. They call them We Are Visible Murals. So what you're looking at right here is not vandalism. It's a crew. It's not a gang in any way, shape or form. These are uh, graffiti artists that are using their talents as graffiti artists for the good. What you're looking at down here is two pieces of graffiti art. Right here it says GI, meaning ground illusions. And that is a b-boy and b-girl uh, dance crew uh, here in Toronto that do amazing work. Right here is half of an amazing piece of art that was done. The other half is on uh, another ramp behind me. Uh, because we didn't have a wide enough ramp to put it on, but it's actually done by a graffiti artist that's from the Latin America, and uh, he was an illegal graffiti artist when he was in Latin America, and one of his best friends died falling off of a ledge doing illegal graffiti. And when he came to Toronto, he couldn't speak any English. And what he did was he wanted a place to do his graffiti art legally, and he reached out to me, uh, Constable Scott Mills, in my capacity as legal graffiti art coordinator for Toronto Police Service to get an opportunity to paint. And uh, now he's done some amazing great work and some of it is uh, here at the BMX bike ramps. We're resheeting these ramps because they, as you can see, they're, they're wearing out. This one has special significance. This is from the Drew Hildebrand Teen Benefit Scholarship Fund. And uh, Drew's mother's name is Kim Evershed. And uh, she holds a lot of events to raise awareness about her teenage son uh, who lost his life. Um, she believes that uh, her son uh, could have been saved, his life could have been saved if he was involved in activities that really, really appealed to him and that he liked and he could have been successful and safe. And this is a, a graffiti art piece and it says rest in paradise and it's for Drew. Drew Hildebrand. So rest in peace. This is what we're out here trying to accomplish. We're trying to get kids involved in positive, good, exciting activities that can save lives and make, make young people very successful so my and keep them Arnaine safe. My name is and I'm a UP student. So one of my summer job is to basically um, to, be the, to be at the duty desk at the Toronto Police Headquarters. And uh, what I do is um, all about communications. Um, yeah, about talking to people and receiving phone calls, and yeah, that's about it. Hey guys, my name is Gajanin. I work with the Area Field Command. So basically what I do is I assist my supervisor in teaching other officers about social media. And honestly, I think this is one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever seen.
Hi, my name is Ilham, and I work at the Yiffy Student. I'm with at the Yiffy program with my friend Zainane. We're also doing the same duty. I also do the duty desk. Uh, we also pick up phone calls, do packages, and so what. Um, we also help our staff sergeant, um, and also. This portrait, I really find it really creative and gorgeous. Like, it reminds me of like a blue jay in heaven, like in my own vision. So yeah. Yeah, and I forgot to say that um, I really like that portrait too. And. Yeah. R.I.P. Drew. <laughs>